Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2. I am your host, Melee Wizard. And we've fallen quite a ways. I just have to... see where to go from here, I guess. That and portal there. And I can make it get over that way. Now it's just a matter of... Where am I now? Because I don't know... Okay, that's where I just came. the right way? I don't know. It can be kind of easy to get lost if you don't know where, what direction you're going in, but I think this is the right way. There and is there a portable surface there. Not sure. Gotta be a way forward. It's just a matter of figuring out where it is. Okay, so I don't see any portal, any surfaces I can put a portal on in there. Yeah. yeah, pardon me if I'm just... Oh! There it is. It, it, it's been a while since I've played this. I, it's, I don't really remember where... Why don't I just do that instead? Okay, where's the next spot? Because I can't get anywhere from here. Hmm. 
Maybe I sequence broke a little bit? I don't know. Ah. I just I assume that this is the right way. Works for me. Oh. That's the other side of the gate. Okay. So, this way then. To think, this was once an active facility and now it's come to this. Ah. Okay. Okay. Big door. Test shaft nine. It's that sort of thing. Okay, well, it'll be easier if I just put this portal here. I guess we'll see if opening this door is a good idea. It's the only way for it's the only way forward, so what choice did we have? And a door that actually works. Amazing. Whew. It's interesting that despite having been decades since uh since any of this has been used, I'm surprised it still works. Yeah, that's... that's dangerous. I don't like that. Okay, so there's nothing that way. Nothing that way. But it's experiment discontinued. The test chamber is one to two hundred. Okay. Should I don't think I should be going this way. I think that's that's where I came in. Astronaut 
War heroes, Bolivians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Freeze the postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. I remember this room giving me so much grief. I had no idea where I was supposed to go. For whatever reason, I thought maybe I had to go that way. But... Instead... Oh, dang it. What you have to do is basically launch yourself through the Aperture logo, which I guess having that piece fall off was supposed to be a clue in that regard. Uh dokey, so just set up that portal there. Is there an easier spot where I can drop down from? Maybe not. But there'd have to be. So I remember what needs to be done. Now I was just a member of actually remembering how I do it. Uh, let's. Ah. This is how I do it. And I still miss, of course. Stay on the platform, me. Let's see if I can get that more central. And there we go. Nothing else is shown the ability to adapt to differing circumstances, I guess. So, this is our second instance of the pre-recorded messages from a different source this time. We'll see what kind of circumstances this uh, these messages account for. Uh, pump station Alpha. I think I can get over there. Okay. Alright, then I guess down the stairs we go. Although... Can I get over... Is there a portal surface over here? Oh, I'm 
I'm convinced that is where I want to be, I think. Dang. Guardrail in the way. Don't tell me I'm just gonna walk all the way down. That would be silly. But it's kind of looking like that's what I'm doing. That's looking like something I'm doing. And so the silly one is me, it turns out. Except I kind of needed to do that because there's a portal surface here. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed oh, that your okay. blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. I want to say there's an achievement for finding all those, but I can't really say for sure. Oh, yeah, and there's a third one. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Alright, so... Head that way... Uh, okay. Pardon me if I don't particularly like what's going on here. Uh, okay. So can I hit that from here? Yes, I can. Alright then, so there was one more... There was another platform here. Aha. Uh -huh. Away we go! And pump station alpha. Know your allergens, pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. Right. No matter how good they smell. Okay. Can't get anything, do anything there. Can 
I go in that door? No. Keypads. Uh. Okay. Ah. Oh. I thought I could go there, but I guess. Oh. Okay. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Okay. Up we go. What so what kind uh I wonder what kind of uh gel that was that I just cuz uh, there's three different kinds of gel in this game. I wonder which we'll encounter first. Oh my. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. That's all of that. Uh, Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device. At least, uh, at least they've made them a bit easier to carry now. Let's see, repulsion gel. Was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute? Huh. Slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation? Uh... Yeah, for ver various reasons, yes. Basically, bouncy, bouncy. Alright, so now we're getting to the actual test chambers down here. Eh, but we need something to hold this thing down. Alright. Don't recall seeing a cube anywhere. Ah. Was there another switch anywhere? I don't see one. Ah, uh, though I think I know what I have to do. Bounce some more. Oh, I didn't see that switch. You really don't have any control over your momentum when you're... Once you start bouncing. Whatever momentum you had, that's what you got. So it's better the to... The boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Uh, there you are. Uh, there's a couple of different paths here. This leads to not much. How about this way? Ah, even less. Okay, so the other way was where I needed to go. But hey, we found an office. It's amazing how good a condition some of this stuff is in. Uh, nope, don't want to go that way. That's... that's backtracking. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. 
In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. They think of everything, don't they? Uh, okay, so just bounce. What does this switch do? It. I don't know. Hmm. Except there's that. Uh. Hmm. And that's what we need the cube for. So I don't have to jump through the dumb thing. And then I bounce and make it to here. And okay. Wall jumping. And I don't have to do that on the way back, because there's a patch of it here. And that will lead to the exit. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Well, hey, at least, at least they're kind enough to give you a warning. Although, I bet in the future there'll be a circumstance where that very thing can happen. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. It keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Okay. Ah. This is presumably where I need to go. Um. That that is kind of true. Okay. Hey. Okay. So this calls to mind me playing this game back with on my old computer. It did work, technically, 
But it came with the downside that my computer was so low quality that see this blue the gel on the ground? I couldn't see it. So I pretty much had to play the entire game without actually seeing where the gel was. Did I actually accomplish that? Yes. Did I beat the game with that? No. But I did actually get to the final boss. And just that on its own feels like I accomplished something. Uh... Here. Set up a portal there. And down we go. So now the question is what do I do from here? Oh, I see. I see. I skipped the step. Because I need the gel over there. And bounce forward, and there we go. Slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Well, at least they explain what would happen if you did such things, though hearing about it would probably make you think about it. So that's a bit of a catch-22 there. Alright, so I think I'm going to end things off here for now. Now that we've entered, it, we're, we've ventured into the past and seeing things that we didn't see in the present. So, until next time, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.